What's up guys, Halsam here. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you a quick little tutorial on how to get tr uh, trans text with a transparent background into Adobe After Effects with Cinema 4D text. If that makes any sense. Alright, so I'm first going to open up Cinema 4D. Now, just to save time, I'm not going to... Oops, didn't want to do that. I, I'm not that great with uh, Cinema 4D, but I'm just going to make a little, quick little text object. Um, let's say ultimate ultimate arts. Now I'm gonna zoom out. Go over here. Now I'm gonna add a material really quick, just make it look cool. Uh, let's make it bright green. That sounds good. Make some give it some luminosity, I guess. That's what it's called. Yeah. I'm going to drag about halfway so it doesn't look too bright. Now, let's see what that looks like. Alright, perfect. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to increase the depth of the text. Just a good amount. And, oh, crap. I did not want to do that. There we go. Alright. Ultimate R's. There you go. Now, this is what you need to do if you want to save it as a tr if you want to save a text with a transparent background. Go to save and click where you want to save it. I'm just going to save my desktop for now, so it's easy. Oh. Ultimate Arts. All right, now I'm going to go to Format, and when you click on the drop-down menu, you should see PNG. Make sure you have that selected, and then make sure you have alpha channel selected too because if you don't have alpha uh, channel selected it's not going to render as a transparent background it'll have a black background and you don't want that alright I'm going to go to output and I'm going to go preset I'm going to go film video HDTV 720 by or yeah 12 by 720 29.97 um, frame rate and then let's see I think that should be good for now Let's see what this looks like one more time. All right, now I'm gonna just click on the middle button right here, and it renders it out. Now, once I have that rendered, I'm gonna open up Adobe After Effects, and I'm gonna import. Well, uh, let's see. Um, I'm gonna import the clips from the Frag Stocks contest I just recently edited. And a quick little tip: if you want to get your, and most people say go to Composition, New Composition. And then make that make a composition, I guess. Yeah. And then drag your clip down into it. If you just click and drag your clip right here, it makes automatically makes a new composition with uh, exact settings as your uh, the clip that you imported. All right. Now once I do that, I'm gonna import the file that I just rendered in Sony V or Cinema 4D. And if I drag it on the top layer look it's transparent yeah so now I mean I didn't make it that detailed but what you could do you can always motion track it maybe I could show a little bit of that I'm gonna make a new layer null object and say I want to track it hmm I don't know this isn't really a good point oh well maybe I'll just do that for another tutorial but anyway that's pretty much how you get transparent back or text with a transparent background on to Adobe After Effects and do you know what this might actually work with Sony Vegas too I'm gonna check that out right now I'm gonna import a new clip oh uh, let's see where did I save that drag that in timeline and I'm gonna add a new video track uh, shoot and then I'm gonna import the clip that I just rendered. You know what? It works too. So you can, if you don't have Adobe After Effects, you can always use it in uh, Sony Vegas. And this works out really well for intros and stuff. It saves you a lot of hassle to try to, try to like mask out the 3D text. Um, well, I'm pretty sure that's been it for the tutorial. Uh, I'll see you guys later. And if you guys like this video subscribe and I'll probably be making a lot of tutorials more often now because they're actually pretty fun to make. Uh, peace guys.